We've been pushed aside, bullied, taken off, censored, but we've, we've fought the fight and we're, gonna, and we're gonna continue here tonight. Emails from this developer supporters call me a radical. I'm just a resident who wants to protect my quality of life. Our voices have been ignored by council members who thumb their noses at us. What's happened to our city? I mean, I'm beginning to not even recognize it any longer. We're sick and tired of the apartments. Enough's enough. When are you going to wake up? The traffic is terrible here, and this owner says this project will generate less traffic than the office building. The office building's vacant. You don't solve congestion with density. Look across America. It doesn't work anywhere we've tried it. The developers can't make water. They can do a lot of things, can't make rain. I've never once heard anyone say that they come to Scottsdale because of the apartments. Here's an example of an email that was sent to you. It says, are you out of your minds? Vote no on this project. We voted you in to stop this type of development. We want you to value to keep Scottsdale as a tourist destination. This is what many of us heard from the majority of you when running for office, and this is why there is so much disappointment. Never have I felt the uh, obligation to show up at a council meeting or even email the council, uh, but at this time, the issue is of utmost importance to me and my family. But this is our backyard, and we have the right to have a say what goes on in our backyard. Hundreds of residents have emailed the city council objecting to requests for upzoning, while their neighbors took to social media crying out against the development. I don't think it's our responsibility to reward bad ownership. You clearly said you would listen to the citizens of Scottsdale and support them as opposed to the development community. You made that assurance. That's why you were elected. I'm here specifically in response to uh, Vice Mayor Durham's comment uh, a couple of weeks ago that there weren't any residents uh, who were here to voice their opinions about uh, a recent development. Is that there's already over 10,000 approved apartments that are coming. We have enough mid-rise, high-density stuff in Scottsdale already. Where does it end? This traffic is already a big problem that can and does impact human life. This is just a little stepping stone that they're taking to get that area. And once they get it, they're going to go on and go on and go on. And now there's apartments as high as you can see. You can't see the mountains anymore. And now we have a developer coming in here for the second time. He's already been thrown out twice. Has anyone considered the aggregate impact of these projects and how that will impact the area? The answer is yes. The 40 some odd people here tonight are the residents in the area that do not want these projects. I'm holding copies of the emails I've sent to the City Council this year alone. There are many. And I got to tell you, I don't know of any other project in recent Scottsdale history which has had this much resident opposition. You people up there, all the council members work for us. Okay, we elected you, not for the developers. I think this vote tonight is more than just about a single project. I think it's about what are you saying to the community? What are you saying to yourself? And what legacy will we leave for those who follow? Let's protect Scottsdale. And I implore you to please vote no on this project. If you say yes, vote yes for this project, that's fine. But we will not forget, and 2024 is not that far away. The, there's only one other way in a constitutional republic to deal with that, and uh, we have to find alternatives to current members. Stop the insanity. Vote no on the Mercado.